Welcome back, everybody. I am so excited to have our guest today, Return, Eugenia Bring with Carnation Cleaning. It's fun to follow her story because she is the first user of house cleaners training and she started using the actual manual copy of this in March of this year. And then of course, love that only went online in June. I'm bringing her back today, however, to talk about, okay, here we are eight months later, where is, where is she at in the program now? If you want to watch her first interview, and I don't want to repeat that, I will have information at the end of this interview where you can see how to go and see her first interview. So in case you didn't see the first one, Eugenia, welcome. And can you just quickly give us a little bit about your background in case somebody doesn't even know who you are? Okay, yes. Hi, thank you, Sharon, for having me back again. Um, we're located in the Southeast portion of Phoenix. It's a suburb called Mesa, Arizona. Um, we've been here for 30 years. I started Carnation, goodness, in 91, so it's a long time ago, cleaning solo uh, on my own for extra cash. So within just a few years, we hired cleaners, and then uh, 2008 came around, and when everything else went down, we exploded and um, got myself out of the office, strictly, or out of the field and strictly into the office. And then fast forward to today, pretty much semi-retired. I've got my three managers that I spend my time coaching. So it's pretty exciting. We do around, oh goodness, 23 to 28 houses per day, depending of course on the size. So right now we're at 213 repeat homes. If you remember, we're down about 19 from last time we talked. We ended up calling and removing quite a few homes from our schedule, what 19 of them, due to either their location or uh, not wanting burnout for the technicians that we did have, or that they were just a plain old pain in the you know what. So, um, so our numbers are down right now for those reasons, but we do have 10 full-time cleaning technicians um, needing and obviously every day praying for more of those qualified people to walk in the door so we can put them through the training program and get them out there. Um, so our staff right now consists of one full time from home, um, strictly sales, two in the office, one of them being full time and one being part time. And then an additional part time um, concierge that we have doing all the employees laundry supplies company cars fuels all that good stuff. Um, for the 10 um, cleaners that we have. So lots has changed. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, and I think there are some good things that came out of this last two years. Um, mm -hmm. So you have, as I said, a lot of experience with this. You've got eight months now that you can actually sit back and get a vision of this new training. What are the three major benefits of the, of the program for your company? Well, just, you know, with, with the measurements from us beginning in March of this year, initial benefits, goodness, um, probably the biggest one is going to be in the increased uh, morale and feel of ownership that we have from, from the cleaners, from the team leaders, um, not having a field manager overlooking them um, and just knowing that, you know, they're in more, more control I'd say cost is a huge thing because they're learning so much quicker just by watching these videos at home. Of course, they're getting paid to do it at home, but doing them, you know, ahead of time before they even step foot into the first house has saved us a lot of money. Um, and we used to always have the um, field manager train them. So there was another expense where we had, you know, that extra person salaried along with them. Um, consistent quality, I would say, would be another really uh, big benefit to using this training program. Um, seem definitely increased um, to be consistent quality. Cost, morale, feel of ownership, consistent quality. Okay. <laughs> definitely. Okay, perfect. There are two programs that you established that I would really like to explain to our audience because I think they are not 
your three major benefits, but I think they're a big enhancement. And one of them is you use the program to take your people off of probation. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So the paid training that we do with the house cleaners training course starts at home before any employee ever steps foot into one of our repeat homes. Um, they start with strictly the dusting course for their first two weeks. Then within 90 days, each technician must complete the other two courses, which would be the bathrooms and the kitchen, along with other internal company policies and procedures, of course, that we have uh, before they are allowed to advance to our boosted pay performance which is a huge benefit. Okay, obviously, what's the boosted pay performance? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad you asked because it's really exciting. The um, staff is very excited um, to go through with all of their training. Um, boy, the quickest and easiest way to describe the boosted pay performance is it's based on attendance, client satisfaction surveys and proven consistent performance from each team leader, partner, to, and as a team. Um, they are creating this step-by-step -step habit and sticking to it. It enables our technicians to clean a home faster and better, which in turn boosts their average hourly pay rate, creating the boosted pay performance. So for example, take a home with an allowed two hours to complete um, that general clean. If properly completed in say an hour and three quarters, the techs still get paid for the full two hours on their paycheck. Sharon, you always called that to-go goals. We've changed that a little bit and went with the boosted performance pay, which gets the employees very excited. Um, so you in the past, as you know, I mean, I since I've been a consultant for 14 years, I've been trying to push to-go goals because I had, I'll never forget Cassandra, who had a team of three people who did six houses every day. Of course, we were all repeat clients, but she was there on time to pick up her kids at 2.30 from school and got paid until 5. She got overtime every day. So she was with me for 20 years, and the clients loved her, and she missed nothing. So I always try to push you guys that because if they get home and they have the quality of life you have as an owner where you can pick up your kids, they probably won't quit, right? So my question is, did you always do this? Because you and I have been working together for 10 years probably, or did you just start this now? And why do you feel like you can start it now when you didn't, and why didn't you do it before? Yeah, so we did it before and it went away because we didn't have a real solid measurement in place to do the to go goals or boosted pay. Um, but now with using Made Central, we have all kinds of different uh, measurements and scorecards, all kinds of stuff that goes out that um, helps us keep on track with the measurements. Great, great. So bringing it back then to, and what a uh, kudo for me central, because I think it's so important to do this. Do you think that house cleaning training, I mean, if you're gonna do this, you still need some way to make sure these people have the performance. I um, mean, or they can't do it like you. So do you think house cleaning training has had an impact on them to be able to deliver that kind of performance and why? Definitely, yeah. Why? Yeah, definitely. What's different? Why do you think it's like, like what, what makes them perform when they watch this, when they, you think maybe they couldn't have performed this well before? What's the key? Well, you know, the performance, I think the key is everything's measured now and they can see it live time. So they'll be able to see if they went through a house and a two hour clean and they got out and then, you know, 20 minutes early and they miss something. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't work because they would always um, leave and leave things that weren't done correctly. But now with creating a healthy habit and following the steps in the right order, 
they, they aren't missing things. So they're able to get better and better going back to the same house over and over again and able to do a better job in less time just because of, you know, the, the better they know the home and the homeowner. So they, they get better then they get rewarded for that now. So that they- well, I would assume better. you're saying don't switch teams, keep the same team in the same houses. Yeah, which is really difficult. We, we keep the same team together in the same company car going to the same home week after week. So as long as they're making that homeowner happy and getting good scorecards and doing things correctly, we're, we're good. Well, so that just it's a win-win win for everybody, Sharon. I think it is because that's the reward for rem remaining a cleaner for many, many years. If you can keep those same clients like Cassandra did, she really was rewarded by being there that long. She made more money, got off earlier, and otherwise there's no reward there. So, Eugenia, I want to wrap this up because I know you're busy, but there's one more topic because it is December. Uh, we're getting towards the end of December, and now all the talk right now is 2022 goal setting, which, of course, it should be. So a couple questions for you. Did house cleaning training, and I'm sure it made central as well, have an impact on the numbers that you set for next year? And then secondly, did house cleaning training and probably make central as well, have an impact on your implementation plan? Because setting the numbers is one thing, but hitting them is quite another. Yeah, so for 2022, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm really, I believe we're on track to add another team, which would equate to four, another 40 repeat homes. Um, so I, I really don't think I could have done this without having the, the training in place with everybody doing the same thing. We got the sales selling it, the, the cleaners are performing it, the homeowners are seeing it and made central of course is backing it up with the live time scorecards. So I think all of this goes back to step one, the house cleaners training online program it, without that we couldn't do any of the rest of this and we'd still be back at you know the 220 230 repeat homes that we've had for the last many years um so i'm super excited hopefully we'll get to what 272 by by the end of 22 so i'm on your side the math right on that <laughs> i'll take every house that comes our way as long as they're in your area and they're willing to pay. As long as they're money. within our area, right. And they're not a pain in the you know what. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we will catch up with you on June and see whether or not, unless you have a great idea before that, um, uh, to see whether or not you're on track. I wish you a happy, happy holiday. And I assume it is okay with you if people contact you and want to talk to you about any of this. Yes, of course. They can. They can call, reach out on my cell phone, which is what, 602-361-1866. That's probably the best way. They can send a text, give me a little heads up that they want to spend some time on there. Um, or they can just simply send me an email to Eugenia at carnationhomecleaninginc.com. And I'll definitely reach back out to them. Great. So, so I have one last question that I happen to think yeah. of that we didn't discuss, and that's this. As I'm talking to people in the month of December about starting this program, of course, their response is, um, I'm wrapped up in the goal setting. It's just not a priority right now. Call me like February of next year. What would you say to them? I don't know what to say. Oh boy. I guess I don't know how to do it any other way. I mean, it's like I said, it's almost like step one is if your employees are not doing what you're selling, uh, how can you possibly sell and retain? So that's kind of our stand on it. So it is definitely step one for us before setting our goals. So it is a priority. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. I appreciate that. Do you want to start something off? <laughs> okay. Eugene, I cannot thank you enough. I hope you have a happy holiday. And more than anything, I hope next year is just a great non-COVID year. You're able to hire and set your goals and stay in place. Definitely. Thank you, Sharon, for everything you've done. I know you, you've put in a lot of thought and time into this program, and it definitely, as an owner of a company, you, you can see it. 
def you can see it for sure. So thank you very thank much you. too. Happy holidays. Thank you everybody. We'll see you probably next year. <laughs>